when I was sort of looking at the 2020 race. There were a lot of people who were saying, why don't you go work for this high profile name? Why don't you go work for this high profile name? And when I told them that I was gonna go work for Pete, they thought I was certifiably insane. of the most crowded presidential race of all time. And it's also the most diverse. So it's no surprise that a lot of the people behind these top 2020 campaigns are women. Well, we're here in Iowa today to meet with the woman who's behind Mayor Pete's campaign. I got here late, so I'm so sick. But I just want to find Pete. Okay. So don't worry about feeding. I just like, I'll be good. Okay, like, okay, you see where the stage is. Beto's on the stage, right? So I'm like right behind that. Oh, he's right there. He announced eight months ago. Um, no one had ever even heard his name. And they didn't know how to pronounce it. Buttigieg? Peter, uh, Pete Buttigieg. Buttigieg? Peter Judge? Buttigieg. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. here I go. Like Buttigieg. <laughs> Well, I first met Pete uh, three years ago when he was looking into the uh, running for DNC chair. You know, it was right after the 2016 election. And I think like a lot of Democrats, I was feeling really discouraged and wondering whether, you know, it was time for me to move on and maybe go in a different line of work. I'd worked on a, close to 20 campaigns at that point. So, um, but I was like, where has this guy been my entire life? You know, he had such a compelling bio, compelling message, all those things. And um, that really drew me to him and then one thing led to another and he ran for president. Liz isn't the one running for office, but you wouldn't really be able to tell that based on people's reactions to her. I want to meet you. I'm Matt McCoy. Oh, hi, yes. And you're famous. So. Oh, no, 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 no. God, I love you so much and I'm just so grateful for you every day. My name is Dan. We live in Minnesota, but I'm from Jersey, so I always read your tweets. Oh, really? But working on the trail isn't all about the photo ops. When I first got started in politics in 2004, you did not really see women in senior roles on campaigns. Now it's insane to me that, um, that when I was growing up, or and certainly even before that, that you would have just a bunch of men sitting around a table talking about women's issues, talking about how to talk about, you know, affordable birth control or, you know, abortion or whatever, and that you wouldn't have a woman's voice um, at the table. And I think it's important uh, because I think we can give a male candidate perspective on how, how Me Too affects us, how we feel about it, how, um, you know, the fight for affordable health care, whether and, and affordable contraceptive choices affect us. And uh, that's something that I think you know, Pete is someone who has surrounded himself with women. In, um, uh, and I think it's uh, great for candidates, but it's also great for the culture of campaigns. Working for Pete, he is um, the candidate who I've worked for who has empowered me the most and I think really allowed me to become better at my job as I've been helping him out. The worst part is not that it's overwhelming, it's that you will forget that moment. And, and I always want to remember that moment. You know, when he walked up stage, it was drizzling rain and the crowd was just screaming his name, chanting his name. My body was just covered in goosebumps. I think he got the best reception. He got the best reception of the day, right? Liz is also the reason that Mayor Pete decided to open up his campaign bus to all of the reporters covering the trail. Directly with Liz and why did What's you... it like working directly with Liz? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I mean, she really challenges us to make sure that our, our press strategy is as innovative as we're seeking for the campaign to be and as we want the, the country to be. So it's a good chance to, to walk the walk. We like having different folks with different styles on one team. And uh, I think it's safe to see Liz and Liz and I have a somewhat different style. <laughs> you don't become like a completely unknown 37-year-old mayor of South Bend if you don't have a lot of intensity. I decided that, you know, I, that Pete was the person with the most compelling bio, most compelling message, and the right person for this moment. It was the best decision I ever made in my life. It's a good testament to why you should always trust your gut and be willing to take risks, because sometimes the biggest risks have the most payoff.